What if electricity disappeared for one week? Humanity has evolved into one of the most developed species, at least on Earth. With many advancements in science and technology, our lifestyle has changed a lot over the past century and even in the past decades. To be honest, we can't imagine a life without electricity. Although we experience blackouts and power outages, a life entirely without electricity is unimaginable. Despite surviving thousands of years without it before, we have come to depend on it to complete our everyday tasks and have built our lives around it. We are so reliant on electrical power that it would be a shock to many to realize just how many things would stop working if the supply was to end. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we would all be affected if we had no electricity for just one week. Before we look at this, a quick reminder to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it and also to subscribe to Brain Impact for more videos just like this one. But now, back to electricity. Power outages occur for many reasons. Power lines can be brought down during storms or by heavy snow, falling trees or even bent branches. Power lines are also susceptible to extreme heat. Power plant operators present a human error risk and aging components in electricity infrastructure may also cause power outages. In the most severe cases, power plants may be affected by an accident or, for example, fire. These power outages pose serious problems in terms of safety, domestic life, transportation, work, heating, nutrition, leisure, and healthcare. When people think of the power going out, the first things that usually come to mind are TV, lights, computer, and internet. A typical response is, I can read a book, play board games, it would not bother me too much. If the power is out for a few hours, which we have all experienced, of course you'll be fine. Maybe you'll be a little bored and inconvenienced, and for some it's a bit of an adventure. But if the outage is lengthy and widespread, the consequences can be much more severe, even deadly. Let's start with the home. As we already mentioned, there would be no lighting or TV, laptops would lose power, internet and Wi-Fi would go down. Without a working fridge or freezer, there would be no way of keeping food fresh. Telephone lines would be down and phone signals lost. Your mobile phones would be useless as the battery begins to die and you have no means of charging it. Your gas central heating wouldn't work without electric controls, circulating systems, and pumps. Although you may still have access to water, at least until the water tower runs dry. It would not be clean without the aid of electrically managed systems and pumps, so even a flushing toilet would be out of the question. Air conditioning units would be unable to function, so if it's summer, there would be no means of keeping cool. If you happen to live in a modern high-rise building, there's that classic situation of people stuck in elevators. There'd be no way of getting access to money, cash machines wouldn't work, and going into the bank would be of no use, as the staff also rely on computers to get access to your money. It's bad enough when all the food in your refrigerator and freezer have spoiled. What about when the same thing happens at the local supermarket? The store has probably been closed the whole time anyway because their scanners wouldn't work. Even if you could find a store open, if you don't have cash, what are you going to pay with? Our complex food supply chains quickly fall apart without computers to coordinate where produce needs to be or the fuel to transport it. Transportation is another thing that would be greatly affected by a power outage. Petrol pumps at filling stations all work, as the name says, by pump, which is operated by electricity. Traffic lights and train systems would go dead. Transportation networks would grind to a halt. Crime rates often increase during power cuts as they provide opportunities for theft and fraud. The streets would have the threat of flooding due to lack of water pumping, and if a water treatment plant has no electricity, they would be unable to move water uphill. On August 18, 2018, in the city of Olean, New York, approximately 45,000 gallons of untreated sewage was discharged into the Allegheny River by a sewer lift station. The discharge was caused by a power outage. Nuclear power plants also need electricity for cooling. This is a very important part of producing nuclear power. Spent rods need to be kept cool and contained. If they overheat, it could cause a nuclear meltdown. If the containment structure of the plant is damaged, radiation will leak out into the environment. In the event of a power outage, nuclear power plants automatically shut down and the backup generators kick in. However, the generators require fuel. If supplies run short, they would have to be trucked in to keep the cooling system going. Power cuts can do more than just turn out the lights, as hospital patients in Venezuela found out during a five-day nationwide blackout in 2019. There was nothing the doctors could do. In almost total darkness, broken only by the beam of a couple torches and the glow from their mobile phones, the hospital staff watched helplessly as their patient died. 
everything the doctors needed to save the woman, including a mechanical ventilator, was tantalizingly close in the intensive care unit several floors below. But with no power in the nine-floor hospital, they had no way to reach it. Without electricity, the lifts did not work. Unprepared for the sudden loss of power, backup generators in the hospital failed. By the end of the five days, an estimated 26 people had died in the country's hospitals as a result of a power outage. Among those who died were kidney failure patients who could not get the vital dialysis treatment they needed, and gunshot victims on whom surgeons could not operate in the near darkness. Incubators for babies also failed to work. Businesses are also left largely unable to operate, resulting in huge economic impacts. In 2004, the Department of Energy estimated the annual cost of power outages in the U.S. to be around $80 billion annually. When 2 million customers in California had their supplies cut for two days, experts estimated the cost to the economy to be around $2.5 billion. With all this said, there are ways to be more prepared for power outages. On an individual level, simple things like having torches and plenty of spare batteries on hand, ensuring you have adequate supplies of bottled water to fall back on, keeping your cupboard stocked with non-perishable foods like rice, pasta, and canned vegetables. If it happens during the winter, you could put all your dairy products and meat into a tub with a lid and set it outside in the snow. Keep a stash of emergency cash somewhere safe. It may also be a good idea to install a wood burner or an open fire to use during the winter months. But make sure you stock up on plenty of dry wood and maybe invest in a mini generator. Some people prefer to not be so reliant on electrical energy and opt for an off-the-grid lifestyle, utilizing alternative energy sources for their power. For many years, they were considered to be eco-warriors and often eccentric with a different and extreme way of life, but it's becoming a popular choice for many. A recent poll revealed that 50% of the public said that they would not be able to survive for more than two weeks without electricity. And of those polled, a staggering 75% predicted that within two months, they'd be dead. Most people aren't ready for life without electricity and what it means to be without essentials like a functioning toilet or clean running water. We take electricity for granted, with it being an ever-present force in our everyday lives, and we use it without thinking twice. But with threats of natural disasters looming and supervolcano eruptions nearing closer, is it time we give it some thought? Those living off the grid are living proof it is possible to live without electricity. It just takes a few adjustments. In our opinion, if electricity were to suddenly disappear for one week, as long as you are reasonably healthy and well prepared for a sudden onset of a power outage, there's no reason why you couldn't survive without electricity, but it won't be easy. Do you think you could survive for a week without technology? What about a toilet? Let us know in the comments box and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Brain Impact for more. Thanks for watching.